So today we're going to share with you guys a little bit about wool. There are lots and lots of sheep in Norway. If you ever go hiking in the mountains, you'll hear all these little bells all around you. And that's all the sheep that are up there grazing. And what they do with that wool is they make all sorts of beautiful sweaters out of them. Those Norwegian sweaters you see, they're made out of wool. Um, what I have in front of me, this is the finished product, but there's a whole long process that the wool has to go to before it gets to this point when it can be knit. So Joanne, Johanna at camp, um, who's the other craft person that you've probably seen at camp for the past decade or so, um, she's going to tell us a little bit about how we process the wool so that we can spin it and then knit Norwegian sweaters out of it. This is the fleece and it is still pretty greasy. So we are going to wash a little bit of it again in some very hot water to see if we can get the grease out. This is the very hot water. We don't actually want to boil the fleece, but we do want the water to be very hot, about 140 degrees to cut the grease. This is Dawn dishwashing soap which we're going to use to um, clean the goodies. I'm going to probably use about half what's left in there because you need lots and lots. Okay, here's the fleece in this little bag here to keep it all together so it doesn't um, fall apart and you don't want the wool going down the drain. So now it's going into the pot of very hot water with soap in it. And you don't want to agitate it, just let it sit there and soak for about half an hour. So now we're just gonna let it sit there and soak. Still cooking. Okay, so now it's been soaking for half an hour. You can see the water is still very hot and you can see the grease floating around there. So now I'm gonna take it out of the hot water, the hot soapy water, because now we need to rinse it out. The second pot of hot water here on the stove because you don't want wool to go from hot water to cold water because that would make it felt. So I can move that water into this pot and we will start rinsing the wool. Let me see if I can do this one hand. This is very hot, so I don't want to do it with my hands. It's another reason why it's nice to have this little plastic, this little uh, bag here so that I don't actually have to touch um, the hot water. Okay, so there we go. You see it's draining a little bit there. I'm going to move it over to a uh, plastic bin so I don't get water all over my floor. And then we will dump this water outside on the lawn because it's all greasy and I don't want it going down the drain. So here we go. Okay, if you have a top loading washing machine, you can do the last bit in your washing machine. I have it set on a small load, hot water, gentle cycle and I just uh, rinsed and spinned it in there with no agitation so it is hopefully rinsed and a little bit drier than it would have been. If you don't have a top loading washing machine just have to uh, rinse it out in a big tub and let it drip. So now we're going to take it out of this little mesh, mesh bag and put it on here to dry. It's been a beautiful sunny week all week and today it is cloudy so we're drying it inside. All right, here it is. It looks kind of funky right now, but I think it will be fine. We'll just kind of spread this out so that it can dry in a single layer, more or less. There's Yalmer, some of you guys know him. Okay, 